What's going on YouTube? I'm Midwest Raider on YouTube or DJ Martini Services on Facebook or AKA DJ Martini Midwest. I just wanted to bring you guys a quick video on these Rockville AMP 6s and 5s. And the reason I'm bringing the video is because there's not a lot of uh, reviews on the AMP 5s back here. Um, so I really had to just find out for myself if I thought they were okay or not. I watched a lot of reviews on the AMP 6s over here and there's actually a lot of videos on those so if you want to check those out a little bit more you can. Overall they are a really good speaker on both pairs here and um, I just want to do a little review on them. So I'll just give you a quick background on myself. I've been a DJ for five or six years actually doing gigs and in a hobby DJ pretty much my whole life. Um, I've been around home audio and car audio my whole life and I really enjoy every type of music so just listen to it all. Uh, I had some Bose passive speakers that I was using just as monitors that mm, aren't really monitors but they worked good for just what I needed just for listening to music um, but I really wanted to get rid of the receiver and the amp and, and just run some powered speakers that I could just hook right into my controller. So I did some research on YouTube and found these Rockvilles that um, really I can't complain too much about. Um, I looked at reviews on everything else, you know, your Yamahas, your JBLs, um, your Rockets. Uh, so I, I know what's out there, but I really wanted to take a chance on these Rockvilles. Um, I have some other Rockville equipment. I have amps, mics powered speakers, passive speakers, and you know, they really make a good collection of items, um, but I would say of all of their equipment, it all works, it's good, I don't want to say it's the best or, or, or awesome, but it all works really good, and so far it's been reliable for me, <clears throat> can't say that for everybody else, but it has for me, so, um, but really of all their equipment and products that they have, I will really say that these Rockville desktop uh, AMP 6s and 5s are really good speakers. Um, for the value and the product that you get, I honestly, I, I really can't complain. I'm really impressed with these. So we'll just kind of give a quick on the AMP 6s here. Like I said, I want to keep more on the 5s. There's some videos on these 6s, so check those out. They're good videos. But the quality on the... Uh, cosmetic look of these is really good. They really have a good sounding wood on both. Um, the quality on the white here, and I'm sure the black ones would look as good with the silver accent, they look really good. They're going to look really good in your setup and people are actually going to be impressed with them. Um, they have a six and a half inch woofer and then the tweeter up top and they really sound good. They sound full rich they they really shoot the volume at you so I think you're gonna like them um, then over here on the fives is what I wasn't really expecting them to sound as good as the sixes but they really come close um, I would say that the sixes are a little bit more bass heavy and they're actually a bass heavy speaker for me um, so I actually like a more rounded I like to hear the tones of the bass but I really don't like a bass heavy type speaker and these are really bass heavy they um, they they carry a lot of bass for what you're getting for a speaker um, so the fives I would say is a little bit more rounded speaker um, you can hear the tones you can hear everything you need to hear in the bass but they're not overpowering and I think uh, these sixes are a little bit so it depends on your ear and how you like to hear your music but I would say the sixes are the fives are going to be your, your well-rounded speaker that you really need for a monitor type speaker. Um, they're, they're called desktop speakers from Rockville, but yeah, I would say they're monitor type speakers. And for what I do as, you know, uh, you know, I would say more of a hobby mobile DJ, um, they're going to work perfect for listening to music and for listening to new music to put some mixes together for beat matching and stuff like that they're gonna work really good um, if you're a if you're a studio DJ or you know you're making mix professional mixes or you're a sound engineer 
these probably aren't going to do it for you, but they're they're pretty really good um, speakers, so I would say that. Um, like I said, I've had a lot of Rockville equipment, and I would say of all your equipment, um, these are these are what I would really um, brag about is their desktop monitor speakers. They are really good. Um, you're going to get a good sound. You're going to get good volume, and you're going to be able to really uh, enjoy these. I think so. Uh, I will give a little small demonstration on the sound that you get out of them, um, but other than that, I won't really, you won't be able to hear the clarity and everything because I'm just doing a, a video on my iPhone and you're not going to get a really good feel for what they sound like until you get them in front of you and you actually uh, check them out. But the volume you get out of these is impressive. So. Um, like I said, so really quick, just on the details here, you do get a six and a half inch woofer on this. This is five and a quarter, and the big difference was the size of these. I actually, honestly, until I can compare them, I didn't think that these sixes would be in such a big box. You get about two inches of height on them, and you get about an inch of width more. So if you're putting them on a desktop um, table, or wherever you're putting and make sure you have room for these guys these are actually pretty big monitors um, and the fives are just probably going to work a little bit better for me for size um, so they're about 10 inches and these are 12 inches and they have about 10, 10 inches of depth in the back I'm going to flip these around for you real quick so you're going to see that you just have one speaker that's pretty much a paired speaker that you're just going to run the input to and it has a cable with a four prong that it comes with in the box. Put that down real quick, flip this guy around and you can kind of see what the speakers look like in the back. Um, I'll turn this one on. You'll see that you get a green light when you turn them on. You got your volume control, you got negative uh, 4 dB and positive 4 dB to adjust bass and treble a little bit. You're going to get your red and white RCA hookups. You're going to get XLR and TRS hookups. You're going to get a USB hookup so you could actually, if you have the cable, which you'd have to get separate, you could run it straight from your laptop into these speakers. Um, you could also do, like I said, the XLR and TRS. You have the output for your other speaker here, and then you have your power and your toggle for your on and off. Um, so pretty basic controls. You have your uh, port for your bass um, and your, your bass response, which are pretty impressive for these 5-inch. Like I said, they're much better on the 6s, but like I said, I think they're a little bass heavy for me. Um, my only other complaint is like on the way they look, the white and a black speaker would be impressive. It's got the the chrome lip so these look really good and they're gonna stand out amongst the crowd with if, if somebody comes over and they're looking at your setup they're gonna be like oh man those look, those look good but then if you're going with the the wood grain here if you're going with the wood grain I would say not as much um, if you look at the tops of these I know you can't see them but if you can and you inspect them a little bit you see that there's like some looks almost like bubbles or some depressions in the wood and it almost looks like it's vinyl wrapped and that's not very impressive to me so I would go with the white or the black you know, I wouldn't do the wood um, I got good prices on these so I really don't care what they look like I was more impressed with sound so I'm okay with going with the wood on those um, they're not gonna go anywhere with me they're not gonna do gigs or anything so I'm okay that they're just sitting here at home and they'll sound good for when I need to listen to music. So like I said, uh, next I'll just do a quick little uh, feed on the uh, volume and then we'll get back to you in a second. So yeah, I was just going to give you a little bit of a sound test on these. Um, just for volume, not for clarity. Um, so you can see that at 50% volume that these are actually really loud and then I'll turn them up to about 75 and you'll see that uh, they really do have some volume to them.
So you can actually see that these actually do have some good impressive volume. Uh, I keep them about 50% and that's about all I need. Uh, same on the sixes, no issues with that any, at all either. Keep them about 50. Uh, like I said, I do have to adjust the bass though a little bit because I think they're a little bit bass heavy. Um, the only other thing I would say is that or on some of the reviews and everything, people say that they're, they have a hiss. Um, unless you're right up against the speaker, um, I really don't see any issues with a hiss. If you do have a loud hiss and you can hear it when you're away from the speaker, like more than two feet, there's an issue with the speaker or your connections. Um, so I would check your wires, check your connections, and then if that's not working then there's probably something wrong with the amp or the speaker that's causing that that that, feed, that background feed so um, I, I, I had two pairs here and I had no issues with any kind of hiss so um, like I said these are good speakers I would definitely recommend them and uh, for the price point you can't really go wrong for the value that you're gonna get for two speakers a pair you're gonna get two speakers and you're gonna pick up these you know five and a quarter woofer powered um, for about $114 and you're gonna pick these guys up the AMP sixes with the six and a half woofer tweeter powered um, I don't know the watts exactly but uh, maybe I'll put them in the description um, but you're gonna pick these up for about 150 uh, maybe you can find them a little bit less I got uh, good deals on Amazon on these two, and um, so if you look around for good deals, you'll find a good deal. So uh, definitely recommend these. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and um, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, just put them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I appreciate you guys watching the video, and thanks a lot for your time. Hey guys, I just wanted to add one more. I just wanted to add one more note to this review real quick. When listening to these, I did listen to them for a few hours both, and I was able to listen to different genres of music. The sound you're going to get on them is awesome for about every genre, except, in my opinion, rock, alternative, and metal. They sound a little muted or flat, so I don't know if that's my basement or my ear or um, my setup or the way the boxes are made or what it is, but just to my ear, those genres of music sounded a little flat, a little muted. Um, so every other genre, rap, really good for rap, R&B, techno, they just sounded so full, so rich, so volume-wise in your face that I really liked the way they sound. But for rock, metal, and alternative music, I thought they were a little bit flat. So I just wanted to add that little hint in there just because I forgot to put it in there earlier. Um, so um, that could be just me, so just take it for what it's worth. But these sound really good but just be cautious and maybe if you guys have some different opinions on it let me know but rock metal and alternative just sound a little flat to me and uh didn't sound as rich and as good as the rest of the uh uh different genres that i was listening to so um that's my little added note and we'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching my video and uh hope uh, it helps somebody out there so thanks a lot